When we invest in women, the impact of that investment multiplies as she herself invests in a better life for her family and her community. Societies at all levels are healthier and stronger. Economies grow. Children have a better chance at survival and disease rates decline. A First Lady has an unmatched and unique platform to affect positive change for society. As an advocate for women and girls, she can raise awareness of pressing issues, support effective, best practice programs, and champion public-private partnerships that lead to sustainable results. Empowering women economically is not only the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. Investing in women yields one of the greatest returns on investment. That's why companies like ExxonMobil are helping women build skills to become successful entrepreneurs. Usal Dedingar is one of them. A single mother of two, caretaker of six, Usal's group is one of 20 associations across the Doba and Lagoon regions of Southern Chad that are thriving as a part of a women's economic empowerment project sponsored by ExxonMobil and implemented by international NGO, AfriCare. Women are the key to its success because in Chad, it's the women who reinvest back into their communities. Rapid economic growth and increasing political stability in many African nations paves the way for more stable, prosperous societies across the continent. A woman's health is not only a determining factor of a vibrant future for herself, but that of her family. In many countries, if a mother dies before her child is five years old, that child is 10 times less likely to survive until their sixth birthday. And if a mother dies within six weeks of her child being born, that child will likely not reach the age of two. To address the need for life-saving interventions, public and private sector partners have joined together to provide funding and infrastructure aimed at better health care for women in Africa. One of the many noteworthy efforts is Pink Ribbon, Red Ribbon. It's essential our country not retreat from the world. It's essential that we continue to show our compassion by funding programs that work. PEPFAR works, malaria program works, and this cancer program cervical cancer program that we're going to work with governments to implement, it'll work as well. I'm a gynecologic cancer specialist and my particular interest is cervical cancer. What he's doing today and the Pink Ribbon Red Ribbon Initiative is the most important thing that has ever happened on this continent as it relates to the prevention of cervical cancer. I think, you know, I was, I was reading somewhere a, um, a, a journal and um, one of the captions which caught my eye was investing in women is smart economics. And we really need to invest in women if we want to increase the productivity of the country. Education improves the health of the entire family. And when you combine health and education, an entire society's strength and productivity will follow. With education, we can better the lives of women and girls by giving them the knowledge and tools they need to combat disease and to become contributing members of society. A girl who completes basic education is three times less likely to contract HIV AIDS. Women's education is responsible for half of the reduction in child mortality over the past 40 years. Even agricultural output is increased by 25% with investment toward the education of sub-Saharan African girls. Education means opportunity. Opportunity for a healthier life, a richer economy, confidence, and a life free from poverty. By investing in women's economic opportunity, health, and education, together we can build a stronger Africa and world.